Look, so I tried to do an introduction video, but they sucked. I'm gonna post the top to worst. Welcome back to my channel. Let's see what it comes out of my mouth today. I really said I wanted to make this about hair. I was gonna do a curling thing, but my hair kind of dried pretty dope. Like, I don't hate it. So I don't know if I have to, I might, we'll see, who knows, maybe, possibly, most likely, knowing me, I- This video is on how to curl your hair. So my wand is New Me brand. Start by splitting it down the middle. You can brush it straight back, find a comb, go right to the middle, and straight back. Once you've had your right side all tied and stuff, we can get started. The way we're gonna section our hair is we're gonna go in, and go straight back and just section it out of your way. Our next one, you're gonna go right to your ears and you're gonna section that off. I'm gonna detangle it first to make sure there aren't any knots because if there's knots, your entire thing's gonna get messed up. So I grab a section, it's about an inch thick. I stretch it out, grabbing between my middle finger and my pointer finger and then I bring it all the way down and forward. I want my cheekbones to look higher I'm gonna put the rod where I want the cheekbone to be and that's where I'm gonna start my first curl and then over direct it down, leaving out an inch of hair off the bottom and then pull. I'm gonna match up this black bottom part with my cheekbone and then I'm gonna wrap the hair around it, pull it down so that there's an inch off the bottom and that the black part is matching up with my cheekbone, and then I'm gonna pull it down. See how it creates a little shadow effect right there that causes it to already look contoured for me? These pieces are too short, so I'm gonna do by themselves. Grab the second to last piece. I'm gonna go to the call, to the cheekbone and hold it down there. Just so it has like a little bit of a section, leave off an inch. It really is just like one wrap around. And this one, I'm just gonna create a little bent, just one in it right at the cheekbone so it really is just the bottom and then I'm going to twist it into that part hold the ends down always pull the ends down so that they don't go out I'm going to turn it off because I don't want a house fire I don't think anyone wants a house fire just saying I grab some oil I'm going to wait for it to cool you can just squish it like this and check it's still a little hot once it's cooled down I'm going to grab my Olaplex Okay, it's seven, I think. Yeah, number seven is just some oil. I'm gonna just apply just a little bit. Massage. I'm gonna flip my head over, just boop, and then just start clawing like this through it and detangling it and brushing it out. And then I'm pressing down on the ends so that they're not frizzy and that they're straight so that it gives you that nice beachy effect. Then I'm just gonna flip it over. All right, so this is what my hair looks like. I've kind of moved it around a little. So if you wanna add more volume to your hair after, what you can do is you're gonna claw your hands again. You're gonna hold the hair. You're gonna like claw and hold, and then just comb it down, and then just shake it to relax it. Your hair is really soft. I highly recommend adding a little bit of like hair texture spray to it so that it actually stays. Let me know what you guys want me to teach how to do next in the comment section. If you can leave a comment in my TikTok, on my Instagram, on my live, on my YouTube, whatever you want. And I will see you guys next time, hopefully with a better updated version of YouTube setup. You can add a little hairspray. Always make sure if you're adding any aerosol to your hair, it's a foot away from your hair. If you apply it too close, it's too concentrated, too much product. It can make your hair wet. It can make your hair sticky, hard, all that gross stuff that you don't want. You want it to look natural and soft and flowy.